Good morning, I'm Barb. I'm the author of the Diaries of Liberty the Pug. And today I have with me Liberty right here. Liberty is blind and she's my co-author. This is Ebony Rose and this is Pippa. Today I'm going to give them a little snack and then we can begin our reading. I hope everybody is well today. There's Liberty, Ebony Rose and Pippa. Yes, so Pippa. Today we've already started book 10, The Diaries of Liberty the Pug. Can you see it there? It's called Cuddle Bundles. These are my cuddle bundles. <laughs> We're on chapter 2. It's called Ducks, Kids and Sticks. Sound interesting? Let's begin. Ducks, Kids and Sticks. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. This is what we could hear Mum saying out loud to herself when she came home from Kiawana's Park, walking through the kitchen door, where Ebony Rose, Pippa and I were sitting, waiting for her to come home. We couldn't walk with Mum because the temperature was far too hot in Arizona to go to the park with the pugs today. Ebony, Rose, Pippa and I gathered around to find out what Mum saw and didn't believe when she was out walking in the park today. Mum looks down at us and begins telling us that it is very hot outside and a lot of children were visiting the park with their teachers from a school nearby. Let me just give them one more little piece of treat. Sometimes they settle down. Liberty, Ebony Rose, and Pippa. Pippa's our little diva. <laughs> Ebony Rose, Pippa Wiggly, and I scoot closer to Mum, who is now sitting on a chair at the table. Mum continues and is telling us that she noticed that a few of the children were separated from their group and they had found their way down by the lake where the beautiful ducks were swimming. The children had no supervision and were screaming and laughing. They were holding big branches and trying to reach out and poke the poor ducks in the lake with the branches. <gasps> wow. We listen, giving mum all our attention Mum is telling us that she very quickly hurried, marching towards the children. The children saw her coming and Mum called out to them to stop what they were doing. Mum quickly reached the children and told them how very wrong it was to tease and poke the animals. Mum said she asked the children how they would like to be poked with a stick. The children looked at her very wide-eyed and they hung their heads down and shook their heads from side to side and saying very quietly, no, they would not like to be poked with a stick. Would you like to see them at Kiwana's Park? There they are. That's mom. That's me telling them off. Yes, you shouldn't be injuring any of the animals out there, should you? Let's turn the page. Mum said she quietly explained to the children that just because they do not have supervision and might think nobody's watching, they can be sure God is watching. The children all said they were very sorry and they would not poke the animals anymore. Mum walked with the children back to their group and gave the teacher one of my the Diaries of Liberty the Pug books so they could share with the children at school. Now they can read my books and learn that animals have feelings too. My sister and I are very glad Mum went to Kiwana's Park today and we're very glad the ducks did not get hurt. Do you remember to always treat animals with kindness? Animals need us and it's a privilege to have bestie pet friends to love and care for. Liberty asks all of her friends 
to please be kind to animals. Let me show you the picture again. I think the little boys in that picture will never poke sticks at those beautiful ducks again. They're going to remember, you have to be kind to the animals. Thank you for listening with me today. I have many beautiful books here. They all have short stories. Please go to my website, www.thediariesoflibertythepug.com. My books are on Amazon, and you can listen to the stories on YouTube. Amazon is waiting for you to check out the books. Oh, look, that's the pup. Her bestie giraffe is with her always. Liberty, Ebony Rose. They're all saying bye-bye for now. They're waiting for another treat. I better give them one. See you next week. There you go, bud. There. There it goes.